Hey loves, what's going on? It's Spiritually Gifted here. I'm going to tap in for you guys. Um, First and foremost, I want to thank you guys um, for even visiting the channel. Um, we truly appreciate it. The so, uh, support, okay? Um, thank you guys for your likes, shares. Um, and for those of you who are um, subscribers, I appreciate you guys so much. Um, please feel free to share um, whatever messages come through. Um, even though if some may not resonate with you, it may resonate with someone within your energy loves, okay? Okay, so let me let you guys in on what I've been picking up, but let me double check the volume. Okay, just wanted to check that out. Okay, so I was picking up some energy for um, some of you in regards to being exhausted. We're going back and forth with a love interest somebody from your past it could be also someone that you grew up with um and you guys start having um some type of sexual little rendezvous like here and there you guys have messed around even when you're actually in relationships um and you're at the point wow yeah you constantly keep getting jumpers um i do feel that you're at the point where you're just tired, you're exhausted with everything that's going on. Um, you're tired of the back and forth, the roller coaster, and you're choosing to walk away. Um, you keep looking at the past, how you guys could have been really cool, like a ride or die type of couple, um, but one or both of you can't seem to stop cheating, okay? Um, especially when you're in a relationship with someone else, like you're pick a fight with your love interest and you're going fuck around with this person, okay? So, you also get to the point where you could have let people go and start to be with this person, but you feel like this person just continued to try to mind fuck you all the time. And even if you guys were to be supposedly in a um, committed relationship, one or both of you continue to keep cheating. So when you're tired of the lies and manipulation, so you're deciding to finally walk away because you're tired of putting on a facade, tired of um, wearing this false mask for the public or around friends or something like that. And you just really drain, you know, because we do have the energy vampire that this person constantly keep draining you. Um, and you feel like, yeah, oh my God, I didn't even see this one. So you know that something else is going on. Either the person that you keep shutting everything down for actually has a secret um lover okay like you hey this person is a secret lover but now this when you finally decided to just settle down with this person now they have you as a secret lover what shall i say they have a secret lover i'm sorry <laughs> okay spirit so what else we have for the collective yeah you guys have some jumpers babes <laughs> yeah they could be very immature because we do have immature behavior yeah you guys have some jumpers wow okay so this person is very immature but i'm also picking up you could have been very immature with the individuals you were with as well okay they're a, a master manipulator as well they have um bad traits okay so now i feel like you're feeling very wounded loves and you're being called to trust your intuition in regards to the situation. So somebody actually could be taking some finances from you and secretly putting finances in away. Um, I'm picking up Caribbean Islands. Okay. Yeah, they're secretly doing this. And you have an intuition. Like your gut instinct is telling you this person is doing is like a certain amount of money keep coming out of your bank account and you keep wondering like, okay, this is a lot. What is she doing or what is they doing? You know, follow your intuition. I understand that your intuition your guys will never steer you wrong love us, okay? Okay, Spirit, what does you have for the collective, please? I know it was something else I was picking up, too. Oh, yeah, this part of the manipulation. So they, they could be using a certain situations or certain scenarios to, to manipulate you into doing what they want you to do. Okay. They don't allow your concerns to be the first priority. It's always them, 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 me, 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 you know. <laughs> okay. Anything else, Spirit? Yeah, you guys got a lot of jumpers from this deck in particular. Yeah, 
the only bad thing I'm, I'm gonna keep it real with some of you excuse me love a lot of uh, some of you are choosing to walk away you're not going to look back anymore okay but i'm also picking up that even though you're going through all this chaos or feeling like you're being belittled or manipulated rather than uh, mentally physically um spiritually as well you still rather settle than a breakup because it's not exactly bad but it's not great either and that's not a good thing kind you have to have self love for yourself as, as well okay you also picking up and finding out about a lot of gossip um that's being told like this person whatever they're doing to you um is getting around to the other people um that you guys uh network with or you kick it with or y'all go out on double dates things of that nature anything else here for the collector please It's something with this deck. I know I was guided to this deck for, yeah, you know, it's artificial love. It's, it's not, this person does not love you. And I honestly feel you don't love this person either. It's what they're doing. They're very toxic. A sex addict. <laughs> you could be that sex addict as well, loves, okay? Yeah. And you have a hard time um, letting this person go because the sex is on point. You know, they allow you to do certain things that other people wouldn't allow you to do. But that's not a good reason to continue in this uh, situation. This person that you're with is a habitual cheater. But I also feel this is like your karma loves. I'm sorry to say. Yeah, something's with this particular deck. You guys have a lot of jumpers coming out, okay? Yeah. They, I, I'm sorry to tell you this, love. So everything that you're going through right now with this current love interest that you're going back and forth like this little seesaw, okay? And you made a decision to walk away from someone who truly, truly loves you for you. This person does not love you. They just only love the idea of what they can get from you, okay? They love the attention. They love things that you that you do for them, and they love how you um, recognize them around, among their peers, okay? But this person is not available for you in the romantic department. They're only romance, um, available for you when it comes to sex. And I'm um, not trying to be mean, okay? But they are being intimate with other individuals too. Yeah, this person is not there for you. They're in actually another relationship or emotionally unavailable. Um, when it comes to another individual, okay? I just want to tell you guys that. What else here? What else you have for the collective? Yeah. I need to use this deck more often for you guys because there's so many jumpers coming in, which is a good thing. Wow, be careful because this person is very sneaky, okay? Remember I told you guys they're hiding some secrets in regards to finances. They're stealing some uh, finances from you guys. Um, you need to be careful. And I also just picked up you guys could have a, a joining account as well. But this person is taking finances from another. Like you told them too much. <laughs> you told them too much information in regards to how much you get paid, which is okay when you when you feel like you and this person going to be together for quite some time. Um, even if you have a business with this person. But this person is a shyster, okay? They have a very criminal mindset, loves, okay? So you have to be careful. They can engage in some type of criminal activity, theft, fraud, and using illegal drugs. So I'm telling you, be careful. Cars don't lie, loves. And this person is very cold-hearted. So it's like the minute you piss them off, they'll probably go and fuck your friend or fuck your brother, you know, and they're supposed to be allegedly uh, gay. They're going fuck your brother or fuck another friend or fuck your boss, something like that. That's the type of cold heartedness I'm picking up from this person just to get back at you. It's like they're just out of touch with reality, reality, okay? Yeah, so this person could be playing dumb. Um oh yeah so be mindful too i feel like this person has a person that's tech savvy um also i keep i'm picking up now too that this person like say you have a <coughs> excuse me love say you have an iphone or some type of phone where you guys put um what do they call it my kids and i do um 
what do they call that? When you share your location with someone, loves. Okay, so say that they, they're doing that, but they're doing something to the phone, whatever device that is, and, and they're actually having someone else um, wear the watch if they have one of those, uh, it's ironic, uh, Apple Watch, <laughs> or they have another type of device or their phone and they switching their phone off to someone else and this person's driving around saying, pretending like they're at work and they're not. Okay, so yeah, they're very sneaky and conniving, love, but so be careful, please. Don't be a fool, okay? Ain't that much good pussy or, or dick in the world, okay? I'm just telling y'all how it is, okay? It's not that serious. This person could be verbally abusive, physically abusive towards you as well. And they, I'm also picking up, they do a lot of argumentative type of games, uh, mind manipulation, um, towards you okay wow i was picking this up and i always go for the gus go and just say it but i know some of you always say well how is she always picking up stuff when it comes to witchcraft it's listen when you have ancestors <laughs> that deal with a lot of this okay you can pick up a lot of things okay and i'm glad that i do i know some of you don't truly believe in things like this but it's real loves it's real y'all have lovers and family members that will be out here doing witchcraft on y'all because they don't like you they'll come to a gathering they can't stand you friends do this too friends are only come around because you fucking around with their friend and they don't want their friend to know that they can't stand your ass or don't even want y'all together it happens trust me i've been in this situation before you know, and it does happen. So it's nothing you can do about that. I really, to me, I wouldn't give two fucks if anybody friends like me. That's how I am. I'm a Leo. I don't give a fuck. You know, if you don't like me, more power to you, boo. Keep it pushing. You know what I'm saying? I can be sociable. But if I pick up that energy that I can tell you don't like me, I'm not going to entertain you. No, I'm not. Not even for my partner. It's not going on like that, okay? I ain't the type to try to be following me by a long shot with nobody. I told you, yeah, this person is emotionally abusing you. Don't allow them to do that. Don't allow them to do that. You worth so much more, and there's too many good women and men out here, honey. Yeah, somebody got a fetish craving too. <laughs> oh, a foot fetish. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. This is double confirmation. Some of you are living in the past too much. Okay, could be looking at old pictures and things. Um, even um, wondering if you should throw away some clothes that they have in your home. Um, that's actually a good thing to do. And delete pictures of your axes and stuff. Like, why keep that shit? <laughs> Y'all ain't gonna reconcile unless you have a notion that, you know, maybe we might get back together and just keep these old pictures. Okay, more power to you. Is that what you want? I just can't see how you're gonna move forward and be blessed with somebody who truly wants to be with you. I just can't see it. Like, why would you want to keep waiting for someone that's not there for you or want to be there for you? That especially those who think you're supposed to sit around and wait on the ass. Oh no, boo boo kitty, it's time for you to go. Okay. Mm-hmm. And some of them also could be purposely uh, taking long to answer your calls too to play these little games with you too. So I'm just letting you know. And I'm sorry, I, I'm not here to hurt you guys' feeling. I'm here to keep it real with you. Just know that SG will keep it real with you. Keep it real in 100, okay? <sighs> Listen, this person is actually embarrassed by you. I don't care how good you dress, how good you smell, how much you lavish them with, um, um, how should I say it? Jewelry, clothes, purses, shoes a vehicle whatever they're seriously embarrassed they don't care about it. they just all they want is that from you okay and they feeling like well i'll do a little um pussy spell on them i'll do a beauty spell on me to make them only want me and that i'm the bitch you know what i'm saying or well, i'm i'm the i'm that nigga you know for the men um but they're not into you at all they're not attracted to you loves okay i'm, I'm sorry to say that but it's the truth you know, I don't know what other way to tell you, love, but to keep it real with you. Okay. Okay, Spirit, what else you have for the collective? What do you have for the collective? 
Yeah, y'all got jumpers. I don't know what's going on in y'all life. Stop letting these old flames keep coming back thinking they can do what they want to do. Y'all keep letting them in. Keep fucking them and stuff. What y'all think they're going to do? They think that you're so insecure that you're going to keep allowing them to do it. No, you are beautiful. And you men are, you are handsome. Own it, honey. Own it. And I seen somebody doing a catwalk too. Like, is if this is what you want, do I know my worth? You grabbing your shit. And it's something that somebody bought. I don't know if it's a phone or something. You left that phone there and said, I don't need your phone, baby. Um, you can say you could delete everything on there. I'm good. And you literally grabbed your thing and said, deuces, and walked out the house. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Do that catwalk. Like, hey, okay. <laughs> this is what you'll be missing. Okay. Yeah, a lot of you, you're going to be fine, loves, because I do pick up a new passionate um, beginning with a new love interest, okay? This person is coming. They could be uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I don't know if you guys are going to meet a star or you a star. But this person is uh, attracted to you. <laughs> Whatever you're doing, it's like whatever you working with. They love the way you walk, the way you talk. It's like something you're showing on your social media platform. I'm picking up too. Somebody's going to take a leap of faith and uh, come towards you too. I'm picking up Messenger, like message you. I'm picking up the world card for some reason. Um, Yeah, you guys are walking away. you having faith in walking away. And I'm, I'm praying that you do do that and learn to have self-worth and self-love for yourself because no man or woman is worth that. It's too many good women and men out here loves trust and believe that. Have that confidence. Be confident in yourself. Go out there. I don't care if you have some raggedy ass Tims on. Walking up them Tims with confidence with your hair held high. I mean, sometimes y'all can have the worst hair because you'd be surprised you'd be meeting the right man or woman, okay? <laughs> okay? They'll see like, damn, if she look like this, bad like this, shit. I can imagine how she look or he look. When he get a shave or she looking her hair done, her nails done, and you know she all cleaned up. Damn, I would love to have her on my shoulder. Or I would love to have him on my shoulder or be in his arms or something like that. I'm telling you, celebration is going to come. Okay? I'm telling you, celebration is going to come. Because we have the three of cups here, the ace of wands. And when I get the three of cups and it lay literally on it, this is celebration, honey. You're going to be happy again. You're going to be a little defensive, which happens, but you're going to release that that wall and you're going to make a decision like you know what i'm not going to let what that person did to me hinder me or block me from having new love you know somebody that truly wants to be with me and your ships are going to come in because you got the three of wands right here love i'm picking up a fire sign or cancer prices scorpios for some other people too um i think i said fires already capricorn towards virgo Wow, somebody's doing a little research on you too, loves. I'm just telling y'all. Yeah, they looking out through your social media platform. <laughs> it may have, oh, this one's trying to, okay. Oh, wow. You may end up marrying this person who's got the four of wands. Hey, love. Could be a Piscean for some of you. Um, you you may be a little weary wondering if they have something to hide, huh? Don't, don't think because of what that MF did to you is going to keep you blocked if you don't open your heart don't think that everybody's out there like that because i used to be like that I, i'm not gonna lie to you it, it used to be a point where tasha was the type that trusted everybody i always forgave everybody no matter what they did but i chose to walk away i felt like you know what you can love them people from afar you don't have to be in their energy just because you forgave them or whatever i just kept pushing you know and i've learned that you can't have those same people in your energy regardless if they apologize or not just keep it pushing okay and you're going to have, you're going to get the recognition that you deserve. Not only that, you're going to be blessed with marriage, um, commitment, home, kids, for those of you who want a family, okay? I'm also picking up somebody's going to get a new home or signing something with a deed or something like that I'm picking up. Um, it could be with a Pisces. So I'm picking up a Pisces and some type of um, uh, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, what a person is, well... But you get, I'm also picking up somebody could be getting a phone call in regards to her home. Okay. What else? I just keep picking up something with a call. It's going to be something. So I'm also picking up somebody looking at the assets too. 
somebody's trying to shut it down so be careful i do feel like somebody's uh spreading some rumors about you guys don't worry about that let them talk baby let them talk don't even try to clarify shit <laughs> you hear what i'm saying yes yeah stop being a despair love because we got the five of cups here don't even worry about that let that shit that ain't number some spilled milk gloves trust me okay you're going down the right path. Walk away. You're going down the right path. We got the two of wands here. Yes, you guys going to get that call, boo. Especially for those <laughs> who have somebody that's going to reach out to them and um, say hi. Oh, yeah, you're going to get the recognition that you deserve, baby. <laughs> yes, honey. Oh, and that person that did you wrong going to hate themselves for it. <laughs> Trust and believe, honey. Trust. Whoa, y'all got some jump bugs, baby. Hold on, love bugs. Yes, yes, yes. That's what I'm talking about. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Some of you could be saving for a home. Okay. You're very, um, how should I say it? Not rambunctious. Um, very confident person. So you're getting your confidence back. I do feel you're very passionate. Okay. You are shutting a lot of people down. Who is? Telling people how you feel. Very ambitious too. You have a lot of options coming through, babe. So listen, loves. I need you guys to walk away from this, this individual. Stop um, entertaining these motherfuckers, okay? Stop entertaining their ass. They are not worth it, okay? You got a lot coming towards you. I need you to trust in the universe. Trust in the divine. Everything's going to work out. Follow your intuition. You got the high priestess here. Follow your gut instinct, okay? Your gut instinct will never see you wrong. I'm also picking, I also picked up earlier that some of you were being too submissive to this person. They didn't deserve that. They didn't deserve you being so submissive to them because they, they didn't honor you. They didn't honor the relationship. Shit, they didn't honor themselves because who, if you don't honor yourself and you're in a relationship with someone you told that you want to be with them, you want to have a, a future with them, but yet you entertain it. Not only you, they entertain not only you, but they also entertain other people. They don't have no self-worth for themselves if they're doing all that. I mean, keep it real in 100, loves. Yes. Queen of Cups, you're very nurturing, compassionate, very intuitive, most of you. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. I'm also picking up somebody to see beyond the veil. Hmm. baby yeah this was somebody that was in and out your life oh man y'all need to just be careful because sometimes it's okay to you know to sit down chit chat with somebody but if you really don't want to do it don't do it that's how i feel don't do it it's not worth it and this person is going to love you for you love you for the who you are love you for the uh how you shape how you build your fupa and all boom okay yes it can happen you can always twerk it and tweak it and get out there and do the damn thing and do what you need to do for that makes you feel more secure too okay ain't no wrong with wanting to look good okay ain't nothing wrong with it, okay i'm also picking up this could be somebody's soulmate coming in or you have some type of soul tie with this person you're gonna be on your money honey mm -hmm. yes what else, spirit? What else you have for the collective? Well, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, I love you, spirit. I do. Yeah. Keep in mind, be careful about telling people your personal business, too. I, um, we got the seven of swords here, so you're going to have some people that's doing some snaky, she snaky shady shit, but your justice is going to prevail. This could be a Libra that's doing this to you as well. Um, just keeping it real in 100. But you have some type of fortune. Um, could be some unexpected income coming in. Also, um, I'm also uh, picking up that somebody could uh, be approved for something for a home. Okay, you're going to be approved for the for, for a home at the last minute. So it's actually going to come in due time. Not when you want it to, when it's meant to. Okay. Yes, love. Yeah, so that's going to be some type of confrontation. Uh, verbal could be physical as well. Yeah, here go the Eight of Swords again. I told you guys I picked up the Eight of Swords. I'm also picking up somebody could be going to get them a new car too. Somebody's finding out that they're pregnant. 
Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, somebody gonna be moving away. It could be out of state as well. Somebody could have had an altercation um, via phone. I don't know why I'm picking that up because that's not what I was gonna say. Could be on the phone. Like, I don't know what kind of altercation you have. I don't know if this is on a conference call. I'm picking up a conference call. That's gonna be some type of altercation with doing a conference call. I'll get that in one moment. I also um, feel like somebody could be recording somebody talking about how they had sex. They fucked you behind. Um, they're about to tell everyone. Okay, I really don't want to say this, but I'm also picking up that uh, somebody was fucking you behind and they seen a wart. They're going to tell someone this. And I'm picking up this is somebody that's pregnant too. You could have traveled to have sex with this person. Um, you also could be married too. Okay, I'm sorry that I vote. It's not like anybody knows who you are, so I'll get that message in a moment. Okay, spirit, it's the last shuffle. Do you have anything for the color? Any more messages for the color? This spirit, last shuffle, spirit. Ooh. Hold on, love, because you have another message. Ooh, three of swords. Yes, okay. <laughs> So, yeah, you guys are going to be, okay, so I feel like you guys are going to be rejecting this person, particularly for this reason. You're going to be heartbroken that this person will actually go and divulge personal information like that, okay? Could be rejecting their offer in marriage as well. I'm also picking up somebody could be rejected in regards to a loan for a car or find, uh, find uh, what do you call those? Um, a finance company is not going to finance you in regards to a vehicle. Yeah. Okay, love bugs. This is all that I have for you guys. Um, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you're currently not a subscriber. Don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up. Um, and don't forget to share, okay? Share on your social media platforms because trust me, I know this is going to resonate with a lot of you. And for those of you who are really sick and tired of dealing with this person that comes in and out your life all the time. Walk away from that motherfucker because I see nothing but good things coming for you, okay? You got this. Love on it. Do that cat walk. That goes for you men too. Y'all can do that straight, you know, like that pimp walk. Like, yeah, go ahead, boo. <laughs> go to that nigga. <laughs> I know I'm going to be blessed with a good woman. Y'all got this, okay? Love and light.